Coming with us. Nice and easy. Don't think so. Not bad. See ya. <laughs> Who in the hell? Hands where I can see him. <clears throat> Have fun. Go ahead. <laughs> Enough of this. Was never in doubt. You're coming with us. Can't get surrounded. Try harder. Nope. It's over. That's that. See ya. Let's go. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Real joy to work with. Real joy to look at, too. There we go. Looks are what people You'll notice first. Safe, right? Guess I'm Cloud? not on the same page as people. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. Or even the same. Give it a rest. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Huh? Which? Uh...
You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. So fast, we've got company. Try to keep up. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs, too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? 
Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. I'm watching you. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Oh, wait! It's over! That's my line. He's alone! We can take it! Make it rain! Let's do this. That's that. Yeah. Here we go. Enough. Shit. That's that. Then let's move. He always knows just what to say. Cut it out. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. Careful in there. <laughs> I got this place covered. Security is only going to get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? So, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Tifa and I... Sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you sit, it's here sucking up Marco! It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> Say that again! 
I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <sighs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. These tin cans ain't got nothing on me. Uh. See ya. Now for the real show. done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then, make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me! Those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. Ha! We can take this hunk of junk! That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. We rush in, we die. 
Is that right? Need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Fire. Hey! It's not moving! Let's put it down. Give it all you've got. Alright. Of course. It just had to get back up. So we knock it down again. No time to complain. Gotta love it. Now's our chance. Go! Don't need to tell me twice. I'm gonna enjoy this! What are you? 20-something? First. Huh? Soldier, first class. Doesn't go into the 20s. What the hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I, uh... Though for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. <laughs> Guess that make you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn! our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. God damn. I can practically taste Tamako in here. Hurry it up. Ah! 
at its core? No. The pump itself is dead. That's that. Deal with that. Yes, it's my turn! Fuck on this! Let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Go on. Do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! Fine. What about the timer? Your call, Merc. Pretty cocky, ain't you? armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. Huh. No other option, huh?
You good? Not as good as I'd be if you'd actually tried to help me out. There! Attack it from the rear! Aye, right, soldier boy! Show me what you got! Alright. Damn it! Here we go. Let's get this over with. Won't last long. Damn it. We need to heal up soon. Let's do this. Now, hit it hard and fast. Oh, you're in for it now! Just shoot! Don't overdo it. All right! Watch and learn! This ain't nothing! Time to fry! I know you can My do turn. it! <sighs> Gotta heal up. Gotta heal up when I have the chance. Deal with that. About damn time. Could keep going if I heal up. Be hit by that laser. Huh? So what do we do? Don't get hit. Take cover behind that debris. I'll 
again. thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Where should we be covering our way out. Go, go, go! Let's go, let's go, let's go! 
freak out if I don't talk. Have it your way.
Close yourself up. Now you say nothing. Is that it? Take that as a yes. Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it? I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right then. Lead the way. 
You got it. <laughs> Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere. Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Oh, it's me. Gotta do something about that. And soon. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. How much farther do we have to go? Not far! That's about as good a place as any. Stand back then. I'll set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. She's good to go. Those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. Attention, all citizens. Attention, all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all risks are safe. No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. But it's okay, cuz I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh. Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! Hmm. <laughs> we'll split up and shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then! Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it. Once we're back at base. Yoo-hoo! 
I don't need to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing material. You can have it, for saving my life. Just doing my job, nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. <laughs> Survival can be a matter of luck or skill, and you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right?
It couldn't be. But then... real. You're dead. I am. I killed you with my own... <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown, all so bright. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh, yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Yeah! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. Just Please leave your residence at once. I repeat, 
Do what you like. I'm this taking the kids to safety. An evacuation order has been issued to the officers. Intruder escape. Should I leave too? For you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait. You think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to self- <laughs> Sector 8, Unit 4, we have eyes on the target. We need backup. I'm 
No holding back. It's over. That it? Never in doubt. Get 
Shoot to kill!
try me. You're mine. Let's finish this. Not bad. This cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. Hmm. You think he's a keeper? To, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround? That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. Thank you. 
A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? Lucky us. We've got a crowd to hide here. Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Mako Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. How dare they Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. Hope the others need it. Wow, we get some of people right in the freight car. Guess they don't have a choice, but better than me. Are yeah. you the one so getting the last one? Yeah, I'm just down there. Here. Hey, got you a sec? Should have never gotten out of bed this morning. Eight, so I just called in sick. Just leave me alone, all right? You're, uh... Holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Wow. My hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Now lives in Sector eight, maybe so... not. Do you think Wu ties to blame? Little help, Cloud? Please? I can't sure stop Sector thinking about it. The too. bomb I made shouldn't have no, produced an explosion that, that big. Happen. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't a reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? J just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Hmm. Uh, uh, shh. I'll antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear? Y'all's masters? We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world! That's right! That is the Shinra Creed! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Them fighting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> Shinra creed my ass. <sighs> Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not... <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. 
This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell ya? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako. While the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. Ah. Hmm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. Office still there? Sure. Our people here too. I'm going on a different path. Wow. Am I hungry? Guess I'll stop by one of the food stalls. What are we even doing here? No one in their right mind. Talk about I'm going on a ghost. Of course not. Uh -huh. Somehow. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. As long as the trains are How about it, baby girl? How about what? Mm -hmm. Train services have concluded for the day. Hey, leftovers are for kids only, dummy. <laughs> So the Mako reactor's broken? How much is enough fried march? A handful or hear me out. A whole heap? Really? <laughs> no words can describe how rough the things were. Apparently Shinra thinks it's a kind of person who goes around. Dumb plate he's only had it so good because of the reactors. And this bombing's changed all that. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'd never seen anything like it before. Let's see how daylight finds it. It's like a giant candle All lighting the up the whole piled up sky. like mountains. You couldn't go nowhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? 
Mako junkie, huh? Figures. Shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's weak you and oh, You don't want to mess with the monsters. Warning. Gate broken. Fiends in area. Exercise caution. No reason to check it out. Not my problem. Um, excuse me? Due to an emergency, entry into this area is prohibited. Sorry for the inconvenience. You call that a warning? No, sir! What do you know? That ain't half bad. I'll make a grease monkey out of you yet. Thanks. I've always dreamed of opening up my own shop. Angel, I am. <laughs> Have you been a good girl? Yeah, I picked up a tifa. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, well. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? Guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV's talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Uh. Hey! Uh, the hell Barrett. you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. Died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was... chaotic. When 
Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I promise I won't do it again. Danger's part of the job. Don't worry about me. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. So, you make nice with everyone? As much as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra to tells them to. to us. So, How will this affect us? it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean, I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get There is it. one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. And you're sure about that? Of course, as long as you help, that is. Wait, then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. Guess it's time for introductions. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. This is his apartment. 
He's got a few problems, but he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Everyone I know said they felt a lot better after talking. The watch is saying they're going to step up until they get reactor searching for candidates. Guy who Wedge mentioned, the merchant. Guy who Wedge mentioned, that sword's massive. What does he sell again? That sword's massive. What does he sell again? Searching for candidates. Trains don't start moving. <laughs> I was gonna jump on that empty room at Stargazer Heights, but someone beat me to it. Hmm, looking good. Quality of product makes a huge difference. Just like that. Supposed to be What's the big sword for? Ain't no monsters here. The guy who lives over there's got a real hard on for cleanliness. I swear, all the plate side jobs are gone. Lots of girls who live here. The life stream, right? What's a life stream? Gonna have to save up for the wedding. How much do we need to buy? 
canned goods when I get sick. I still can't believe it. Oh. There's this one dude in the watch. Who's the watch? It's just me, or are there more strays around here these days? There's this one dude in the watch. But didn't she send money back home? I'm not gonna let you sleep overnight. Huh? She wanted to see me. A lot more people than usual. Our daughter. My sister on the plate. Who's gonna ride him? A husky guy.